Hello, welcome to Immerse Robot, and in this video I just wanted to give a few impressions of Elite Dangerous in the Quest 3. Now you might notice in the bottom left hand corner I'm wearing a, an actual separate headset, a separate uh, headphones and microphone setup in order to counteract some of the microphone issues I had with the Quest 3 in my last video. And I was actually surprised by how many people thought it sounded okay, to be honest. Um, I did get some comments saying it sounded fine, um, but, but a lot of people also commented to say that it really didn't, and I agree. I, I think um, it, there was some popping and some dropping out of the microphone on the Quest 3. Now, I went in a little bit earlier today just to see if I can refine settings, and I was getting it a little bit better. It still wasn't quite up to standard, in my opinion. So that's why I'm using this microphone to tide me over now this might not sound that much better I don't know this is very cheap just one to tide me over for a few videos while I make some content on the Quest 3 um, I don't know we'll have to see the results of this when I finish recording um, but yeah Elite Dangerous in the Quest 3 is great <laughs> you know we can get that straight off the bat now I am recording on the same PC um, but let's just take off here anyway and we'll see how we get on now because I'm recording on the same PC, I am having to lower settings down. Sorry about that. I might have cut that out expertly, or you might have noticed that there was a sharp cut there. I just had to go back in and get the controls um, using the bindings, my sort of custom bindings. For some reason, when I go back into Elite sometimes, it will revert back to sort of standard um, controls and I just need to go into the controls menu click apply and then come back out and it's absolutely fine and um, but yeah so where was I and um, talking about the resolution and stuff like that the um under well um I've got it slightly lower than the settings I actually play with in the quest 3 so I've been in just done a little bit of experimentation earlier today but this is really the first time I've properly been in and I could actually get it up to around 1.0 um, in terms of super sampling in game and then 1.50 HMD image quality but while recording on the same PC I'm not able to do that so I have to um, lower it down so it's 0 0.85 super sampling in game and 1.25 HMD image quality which does reduce you, it's noticeable you can see a difference but it's only because I'm recording so I'm going to be commenting really on when I'm not recording and I don't need that extra sort of uh, performance uh, it's, I, I've got a little bit more headroom to ramp things up I guess and with that in mind I will say like on the ship at the moment so on the out the front when I look out I can see a little bit of aliasing on the edges of certain things um, but when it's in that standard settings that I use when I'm not recording the aliasing is there but it's not as much and overall it's giving me a great you know I mean it's <laughs> apart from the Pimax crystal I would say that this is actually probably the second best image quality I've seen in Elite Dangerous taking everything into account and I'll just quickly explain that so of course these have got the pancake lenses now I have noticed glare in some PC experiences that I've played but there's not been too much and the glare that's been there has never really been overly noticeable it's almost like a, a really diminished amount of glare that you might see in something like um, the index and right here now as I play Elite Dangerous I'm noticing no glare or maybe very minor glare if I really really try to focus on it and that's one of the main things this game really doesn't cope well with glare and the the unusual thing is in something like the index which was probably one of the worst headsets in terms of glare and god rays elite also it didn't bother me too much but it was it was very noticeable and it was more around the edge of the lens and there was like a movement of light whenever you looked around certain things in this there's no movement of light you've got fantastic edge to edge clarity and the resolution is pretty good as well. Coming from playing something like the Pimax Crystal almost exclusively for the past three to four months, it's actually surprising how good the Quest 3 stacks up. It's not up to the standard of the Pimax Crystal, it's really not, and I can immediately notice a difference with that, but that's not to say this is not a fantastic really level of clarity anyway in general I would say and like, like I mentioned overall this is probably what I would take 
even more than a Reverb G2. It's a complicated issue because the Reverb G2 in that central part of the lens was probably sharper than the Quest 3. That from what I can get with the Quest 3, you've got extra overhead, you, you've got extra things that, that happen with the Quest 3. So you're using Air Link or Cabled Link, you of course, as we all know, you have to use the encoding and decoding, and that can affect performance. And in some cases, it can affect it in an annoying amount. Amount actually, it really can. With the Reverb G2, you can still get a great experience in terms of resolution in that central part of the lens, and you can probably get away with some of that you know the resolution to performance balance whereas in the quest 3 you might have to be a little bit more conservative in in how you judge that but the revo g2 counter to that the lenses the fresnel lenses had a small sweet spot small eye box and the edge to edge clarity wasn't as good in that so overall there's no doubt i mean there's no question this to me is a better experience than the revo g2 albeit one which you will probably notice a slight resolution reduction in that central area but yeah i mean this i've not really planned anything to say in this video this is really just something i wanted to get to elite is one of my favorite games in vr and getting into it with the quest 3 uh you know 500 dollar 479 pound headset which you can play all of this standalone content as well as pc vr content as well to this level of clarity is it's it's difficult to recommend anything else for that price it, it just is i don't know what to say you know it's the meta have made it very difficult to recommend anything else at this point because this is a fantastic experience the stars look great the black levels also to me are better than in the quest 2 now it's been a while since i've used the quest 2 i can't it's, you know a very long time since i've used it in elite dangerous but just going off memory these black levels seem far better than do in the quest 2. i'm not usually somebody that notices black levels that much unless i really go from one headset like like the psvr2 if i go from the psvr2 to you know an lcd based display like in in the uh, quest 3 i will notice it then but if i'm just getting used to a headset and just using it for a while the black levels don't pop um, out to me as much in terms of whether they're good or bad and in this this one I think it's it, it's got to be better than the Quest 2 it's got to be I mean I, I think that these are doing quite well the other option you can change the contrast slider I'm using virtual desktop connected to a Wi-Fi 6e router at the moment and you have the option to sort of adjust the contrast in the Quest menu as well to really bring out those black levels a little bit more if you choose to do so um, but yeah I think the Quest 3 is a fantastic headset for playing Elite Dangerous in I'm really I, I mean from my experience of the headsets that I've played I think really I can only point to the Pimax crystal that would really top this and it's sort of triple the price so and it's not it's not you know three times as good as this so you're gonna have a great experience. And I, I am limited on my 3080 with this as well. It would be great to really ramp up the resolution in game, the HMD, in, uh, HMD image quality in game as well, in order to really push the headset to the maximum. But um, yeah, I'm still getting a, a good experience. This, uh, you know, it leads me on to the same things. 4090 you know how much i would really like to get a 4090 it's, it keeps crossing my mind but it's difficult to justify that that cost at this moment in time so we'll see how we get on um but yeah sorry this has not really been an organized video and it's taken me a little bit of time to get things set up actually with this new microphone new headset um recording in this way so hope it turns out okay and Apologies for the slightly disorganized video, but I just wanted to give a few impressions on Elite Dangerous in the Quest 3 and overall it's it's great. No complaints here. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.